So the question that comes up a lot in the modern world is why learn PHP? We have Java, we have Python, we have Ruby on Rails, we have a whole bunch of other programming languages that many people say are far, far, far superior to PHP. So why take the time, why bother to learn PHP when you can learn a better programming language? The reason that I argue that people should learn PHP is that it is used a tremendous amount in web applications that you are going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis or that you may run into. If you look at uh, applications that are in wide use, uh, applications such as WordPress, applications such as Drupal or Joomla, many of the open source web applications that you will download and install onto your server will use PHP. PHP has been around for a long time. It has been a very popular programming language, and so the fact of the matter is that a lot of the open source web applications that you'll be downloading and deploying will simply use PHP. Is it the best programming language for these applications? Could they run better if they were coded for a different programming language? Maybe. But the fact of the matter is, is uh, with these open source projects, when they've already put 10 years or more into creating their, their platforms, they're not going to go back and rewrite it into Ruby on Rails or Python uh, just to make it a little bit faster in life. So basically, they keep using PHP. And so one of the important things to realize about PHP is just it is used uh, by a tremendous amount of web applications, open source web applications, that you're going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis in IT. And so even even if PHP isn't the best programming language, uh, theoretically, uh, you should know how to be able to hack or go in there and take a look at the code and know what's going on. Another reason that I think it's good to learn PHP is, frankly, PHP is a ridiculously easy programming language. Uh, it doesn't have the same rules that a lot of other programming languages do, so you can go in and you can slap together some code that will do something functional, actually do something useful for you or your organization relatively easily. I honestly argue that within one week of picking up you know, a book or taking a class for PHP, you should be able to create little applications for your organization that will do what your organization needs. Anything from collecting information for things like email addresses for news blasts, uh, to being able to do little databases for things like asset control. Essentially, it's very simple. You learn how to create a form, you, know, you learn to use PHP to take the information from that form to dump it into a MySQL database. And then you learn PHP for how to do queries and basically how to take information from the database to do reports. You think about that. And that's a lot of work that's done in the real world. A lot, a lot of IT work, real, real, real products that are used, basically are submitting information, dumping it into a database, and then being able to pull information from a database. And so PHP does that very easily. And so this is something that you can learn, again, in 10, 20, 40 hours max, and you can actually be producing things that you can either sell or use within your organization. The final reason that I say you should learn PHP is remember that we're not married to programming languages. There's this weird thing in this modern world where people say, oh, you shouldn't learn PHP. You should learn Python or C Sharp or something else. And to be clear, I'm not saying that the only programming language in the world you should know is PHP. Frankly, that's probably not that useful. PHP basically dynamically writes web pages. So if you're going to learn PHP, you also really should know JavaScript. You should also know CSS. You also need to know HTML at the absolute least. Uh, and then beyond that, it's wise to know other programming languages. So it's important to, to realize just because you learn PHP, you're not getting married to this programming language. It's not, you you learned PHP, and now you shall never be able to code in any other scripting language ever again. That's not the case. You take your 10, 20, 40 hours to learn PHP. You get to, you get to create some applications. You get to really understand what a server-side scripting language is. You really get to understand how it works with databases and other things. And then as you're doing that, you think, huh, I would really like to do something else 
that PHP doesn't do. And then you find out, oh, maybe that's done in JavaScript. Oh, maybe Node.js does that. Oh, I want to create, you know, client-based applications where I don't need a server. Maybe I should use Python instead. And that's the thing, is you can take PHP, you can start with PHP, you can learn about variables, you can learn about if-else statements, you can learn about functions, you can learn about loops, you can learn about the, the basic core concepts of programming, and then when you get to the limit of PHP, because you will get to the limit of PHP relatively quickly then you can go out and go okay what I really want my application to do is X Y or Z and then you can f figure out and go okay in order to do that I need to use JavaScript or in order to do that I need to use Java or in order to do that I need to use C sharp and then you can go from there so please <laughs> please realize you're not married to PHP so the important reasons to learn PHP is it's very it really is it's very useful you can be creating useful applications within a week it's used by many 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 of the open source web applications that you're going to be downloading and using anyway Every, anything from WordPress to, to help desk systems it's just you would be surprised how many of these open source um, applications that you you download and that you'll find that they're done in html or in, in php and then finally again you're, you're not married to it learn php get good at php and then learn some other programming languages again in the modern world you do have to realize in the modern world it's not the day day and age where you could learn one programming language and be good that that that's what you could build your career off of nowadays five I think five, five programming languages is probably what you should be comfortable with um, to really feel like you're solid in your career. So if PHP is one of those, then you have a, you have a few other languages uh, that you can learn in there. So that's why you should learn PHP and why PHP is important.